starts right now. Here's your host, Don Jacob, Ken Hunter. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Now, I know there's a lot of disappointed people out there, Jake. Mm -hmm. The big game seasons are basically over. Yep. Muzzle loader season has come Gone. to an end. Yep. However, there's a lot more hunting to do yet. We've got a lot of small game, rabbits, squirrels, grouse. There's a late goose season. Crows, people crows, are crows. Yeah, and of course, coyotes are always out yep. there. But you know, a number of these activities involve the use of a dog. In fact, I know grouse hunting and rabbit hunting are probably best done with a dog. Yeah. We've kind of featured a number of different dogs on the show. You, you recently uh, were involved with another species. Absolutely. And what happened is that Jeremy Schaefer called me from Schuylkill County. SOS Kennels is what he owns. He says, why don't you do a story on German short hairs? Come down. We'll talk about breeding them. We'll talk about training them. And we'll go out on a grouse hunt. And that's exactly what we did. We're located in Pine Grove, Pennsylvania, in Schuylkill County. Our kennel name is SOS Kennels. And what does SOS stand for? Schaefer's Outstanding Short Hairs. What draws you to German Short Hairs? They're perfect. We have kids. I can put all my dogs in a room with my two-year-old daughter, not have a thing to worry about. They're great hunters. They're just, they're the Jeep Wrangler of dogs. You know, they're versatile. They're good all year round in any condition. They're good in the cold, they're good in the hot, they're good in the house, they're good outside. They're just perfect dog. Oh, uh, look at this guy. Guy or girl? Girl. Girl? Yep. Oh my goodness, how cute you are. Now, how old is she? She's eight and a half weeks. Okay. So you, this is one from your, from your litter? Yeah, Maverick and the Black Roxy. So what do you do? I mean, it, first of all, how do you give them up? That's a, that's an adorable dog to give up. Tell me a little bit about your business. The, uh, what do you do? the first few litters we had, it was tough. You know, seeing them go. Uh, basically, we just learned to not get so attached to them. Uh, we do keep in touch with all the owners after they go. Right. You know, it's not like we just ship them off and never see them again. We get pictures of all of them, uh, updates. We help train down here in the bird field, so we actually see some of the dogs that come back here. But, uh, and so, so at six and a half weeks old, what have you been doing to get it ready to send home? Was there any training at this point, or are you just uh, keeping it close yeah. to its mom? What do you do? At five, four and a half to five weeks, they leave, get off their mom. At that time, we start wing training, bringing out the, the pointing instinct, Is that right? bird finding instinct. That yep. early? Yep. So it's already uh, spoken for, and it's going to an owner? Already spoken for, already going to a new owner. Most of the pups are sold before they're born. Can I hold them? Yeah, sure. Come here, Come here. What a beautiful dog. See, now this is a, just an absolute beautiful puppy. Look at that. Look at the face on that baby. So how many puppies do you have a year? Is there something that, uh, you know, if somebody's really interested in one, how long is the waiting list? Tell me a little bit about that. We have four to five litters per year. Wow. Now does this dog have a name already? No, we so, don't name them. So when, when the owner comes to pick up their puppy, which they've chosen, is that yep. it? Yep. Um, then they get a chance to start from scratch, right. naming them and the whole bit. Right. How cute is that? With the proper training, the puppy can be ready to hunt as early as nine months old. We, uh, we do have a stock bird field. Anybody that buys a puppy from us is welcome to bring the dog back. I can help them with training. I can definitely put the dog on birds. I can see what the dog's doing wrong, what the handler's doing wrong, if anything and correct them in that way. The majority of our training is done over the winter, late fall into winter, and in the spring. Uh, summer tends to get a little too hot to run them too much. We do a lot of hunt tests in the spring and in the fall, traveling in different states to uh, basically test the dogs and their hunting skills. Key to it is positive reinforcement and repetition. Uh, short hair is a very, very smart breed. It doesn't take much pac patience, but it does take some. Keep putting them on birds. Let them, let them flush them up, chase them. Let the puppy learn that chasing the bird isn't going to get him anywhere. That he's not going to catch the bird. And that's what brings the Ooh, stalk out and eventually the point like that. What he's doing now is honoring. He knows she has a bird. He's not going to be ignorant about it and run in there and steal it off her. He's, he's just going to stay right there and let her do her thing. And he knows, in return, when he finds a bird, she's going to give him the same respect. Yeah, right. Exactly. 
Whoa. The bird is somewhere in front of her there. Always look at her eyes and look at her nose. Her nose usually points the direction. Right. Her eyes will tell you exactly where it's at, how far out in front of her. This bird isn't right in front of her. Within within 15 feet though. So I'm pretty sure this one's close. All right, so I'm pretty much where she's looking there. It is right there. Whoa! How do you like that? Good girl, Roxy. Nice job. Free. Jeremy invited us along on a grouse hunt. Although we didn't manage to put any birds in our game bag, we did have fun with his dogs. He smells something. I don't know if he knows exactly where it's at, because his tail's still moving. Whoa. Yeah, come on in, Don. I don't think it was. There it goes. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> that was a big grouse. Yeah, I thought it was a pheasant at first. Nope. We'll get him up again. Come the on, conditions man. weren't exactly in our favor for a winter grouse hunt, but the dog sure did get a nose full from time to time. If you're relying on me to bring home lunch or dinner here, we're going to go pretty hungry because these are <laughs> these are a hard bird to hit, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. It, you're, you're lucky to get a shot. Getting a shot is just as good as getting a kill. And if you were expecting to see a grouse up close and personal after that hunt, no. not after that hunt. <laughs> we no. couldn't hit the side of a barn, Jeremy and I. Fast no. bird, the, the Pennsylvania State bird, the grouse, but... The dogs look good. Oh, I'll tell yeah. you what. The beautiful dogs. He's got them well-trained, nice, clean kennel. I mean, from what we saw on that one-day adventure with him, he knows what he's talking about with Jordan shirt hairs, and he, his two dogs can hunt these birds. I love to see a dog that works like that. that yeah, would I, I would have loved to have seen him bringing one back. Let's try that again next year. <laughs> <laughs> but there's people well, that are going to want to know how to get a hold of him. That's true, and if you want to know more about Jeremy Schaefer, he, he does have information on our website. You can go there to find it, of course, there. You see it on the uh, Chiron right now. You can get a hold of him at uh, www gsphouse.com his phone number as well and i've got more good news jeremy's going to be at our pennsylvania outdoor life expo so you'll see him there with his dogs we're going to go to a break but we'll be right back you may remember that every other year here at pennsylvania outdoor life we do an expo this spring it's time for the pennsylvania outdoor life expo and a lot of things are underway right now the planning stage continues for the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life Expo, and we're excited about all of the organizations and businesses getting involved. Expect more hands-on experiences to be planned this year. And our field staff member, Dave Ocker, is here to tell you what he's working on. If you were uh, at the Expo two years ago, you saw the Black Powder guys throwing some tomahawk with an encampment. We're going to do that uh, tomahawk throw again, but this year we're going to throw in a little something different. We're going to try uh, shooting a soft foam pellet out of a muzzle loader to give you kids a chance to, uh, to try shooting a flintlock. So if you have time and can stop by, register, and we'll have you take a crack with a flintlock. and see how well you can do. Leave it to Dave Ocker to come up with something interesting for kids to do at our expo. Him and his groups, the he and his groups that he's involved with. I can tell you one thing though, there are more and more organizations that are getting involved for hands-on for kids and we are psyched. Something tells me the smell of black powder is going to permeate that area. I love the <laughs> smell of black powder. Good smell, yes. <laughs> now if you're a vendor and you want to take part in our expo, 
Coming up on your screen, you're going to see information on how to get involved. There you see the dates, March 22nd through March 25th. There's information on how you can get a hold of us, or you can simply call the station and ask for Denise Slack, and yep. she will tell you what you need to know in order to get involved. She's a big-time organizer it. up okay. here at that expo, and we're excited about getting it going. But we are excited about the next segment. This segment we call Pennsylvania. Be prepared for the weather because eventually maybe there will be a little bit of ice or cold weather. Right. For Ken Hunter and Don Jacobs and the entire team of Pennsylvania Outdoor Life, we wish you the very best in the great outdoors. So on. Bird isn't going to get him anywhere, right? He's not going to catch the bird. And that's what brings the heat all down. And eventually he's going like that. What he's doing now is honoring him. He knows he has a bird. He's not going to be ignorant about it. Outdoor Life is a local presentation of WNEP-TV. We're proud to serve Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. Meep.